test one of how it sounds with the air intake, this is the after. Already instant, pretty much changed. Way more aggressive, sounds way more with like a deep tone, love it. I'm gonna test it out on the streets and let's see how that works out. Okay guys, so now that we've installed the air intake, let's see how fast my car actually goes. I was gonna switch to GoPro mode and put it on my head because I have the head strap and I'm gonna show you guys how fast the RPMs go up, how fast it's going. But I'm going to have to switch it to my camera, which I'm putting this tripod and attach it to the right driver's seat aiming at me. So I hope you guys enjoy that. And let's see how fast my car actually goes now. What we're going to be finding out today is, did it make an improvement? Is it faster? Does it sound better? And is, is it even worth it? So definitely going to give you guys an overview. Um, I'm going to put it on drive first. Just regular drive, we'll see how that turns out, we'll see how fast it goes regular drive. We're going to put on Sport, which should be a little faster. And then we're using paddle shifters in which I'm actually controlling how fast my car goes. So we'll see what, that hap we'll see what happens. I'm going to give it a couple runs. Um, let's get started. Not sure how that looks right there, but check it out guys. I'm actually gonna put um, a timer so Relatively, I'm gonna put a timer actually in the video right here So you actually can see how fast um, It takes me to get to 60 miles per hour. So I'll show you guys exactly But this time I'm putting right now is just rough estimate. It might be off a milliseconds um, But I'm gonna try my best here to give you guys pretty um, Relevant times, you know, so it's on drive right now, so we'll see. So, three, two, one. It took nine seconds, and that was on drive. So, not bad. So, we're now gonna put on sport. I just reset the timer. So, Switch in sport, ready to go in three, two, one. Definitely gonna redo that. Also, FYI, I'm driving without eco mode on. If you have eco mode, there's like a little green light that turns on right there. It's meant to save you gas, and when it does, it doesn't give you high RPMs because the higher the RPMs, the more gas you're wasting. But guys, like I said, without further ado, turn up the stop sign right now. Let's see how fast my puppy actually goes in sport mode. So in three, two, one. It's a little delay. six seconds but guys actually where when I step on the gas there is a little delay which I don't like car actually starts I'm at a timer it should be like eight seconds so it should reduce um, a second but um, we'll give it one more go so 8.76 seconds not too bad but I really want to give that one more go so we'll see if no cars coming reset I'm going to start it when it actually starts my car going, so in three, two, okay, there we go, that was perfect, pretty much right on time. Ready, set, go. Oh. 
my pretty much exhaust sound way, way, way louder, and you'll hear that right now because I'm about to rev it. Watch me rev it right now. So, yeah, way big difference in how I was before. When back then, it, it wouldn't even go up to 7,000. But... Overall review guys, I'm honestly pretty satisfied on the air intake. Definitely, definitely made improvements in my car, which I'm very stoked about and is exactly what I wanted. For the price I got it, which is $100 I got hooked up, definitely worth it. But I would also pay full price for this air intake because what it does and how it makes my car feel, it makes it feel like it has a little more power, it makes my car sound better, it feels better and I'm very, very satisfied on the results. So guys, I definitely recommend a K&N air intake. Um, but if you're gonna buy one, make sure it's the right one for your car. But there's also many aftermarket air intakes, so just make sure the one you buy is one for your car. Um, this can include today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And if you did, make sure to hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then make sure to hit that subscribe button. Um, I also make funny videos, so if you want to have a good chuckle, then make sure you scroll down, watch my videos. I do social experiments, mainly public interviews where I ask people random questions. Um, a little sneak preview right here. How big should a guy's penis be? 12 inches. Damn! <laughs> yeah, there you go. But guys, um, I hope you have a blessed day. I hope I helped. I hope this video uh, persuaded you to actually buy Canon Air Take. And if not, I hope it informed you a lot. And you know, um, that's pretty much it, guys. So, hope you guys have a blessed day. Until next time.